Um, but let's talk a bit about, you know, baptism in regards, or in, well, not in regards to salvation, because a lot of people will try and teach that in order to be saved, you have to be baptized. But is baptism with water a requirement for salvation? Is baptism with water required? For salvation, obviously we do not believe that. But let's just look at a couple of verses and and just talk about that topic for a while. A couple of verses, first of all, that oppose this view that baptism is necessary for salvation. Let's go to First Peter three, verse Let's just read from verse 18. <clears throat> for Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, uh, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a, was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. So just note that. So that's why I think the baptism being talked about here in the next verse is the baptism with water, not the baptism with the Holy Ghost. The like figure, whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. So it's not the baptism. I don't think it's talking about the baptism. Or it could be talking about both. But I, I, I think it's specifically talking about the baptism with water because that's the context there from verse 20. The like figure, whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. Now, if you stop there, you might just think, well, does baptism save us? Well, if we keep reading in the, in, the, in the brackets there, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we see there very clear that the baptism with water, it saves us because of what it represents the baptism of the Holy Ghost, because the baptism with water does not put away the filth of the flesh, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, so it doesn't remove sin, it doesn't cleanse you at all, but the answer of a good conscience toward God. So we see there that you get baptized with water, it doesn't remove your sin, but what it is, it's a response to salvation. Because you have believed on Jesus Christ, because you are saved and you have been baptized into the body of Christ by the Holy Ghost, by Jesus Christ, then it's an answer of a good conscience. So that good conscience is that salvation. The answer is the response to that salvation toward God. So it's not only something we do as a testimony to, to other people, but it's something that we do in obedience to God. Uh, look at 1 Corinthians 1.17. Now, this is Paul writing here under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. He says, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Now, let me ask you, if baptism was necessary for salvation, why was Paul sent not to baptize? You would think if baptism was necessary for salvation, he would have been sent to baptize or to preach the gospel and to baptize. But he says here that he sent not to baptize, showing that baptism is something we do, but it's not crucial for salvation. Otherwise, otherwise, Paul would have been sent to baptize. He would have not said, you know, I was sent not to baptize. Uh, Matthew 3. <coughs> we read this one already, but it says, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? So John's saying there, you know, you need to baptize me, you know, referring to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, he says, uh, you know, but you're coming to me to, to be baptized with water. Verse 15, and Jesus answering said unto him, suffer it, so allow it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. So now if baptism washed away sin or it was required for salvation, then why did Jesus get baptized? You know, Jesus got baptized to show that it was just in obedience to the Father because he didn't have any sin to wash away. So baptism does not wash away sin. You know, and, uh, you know, we're not saved by works. So, you know, baptism is, is a work if you had to do it to be saved because it's a commandment that we keep from God. So if we had to be baptized and keep that commandment in order to be saved, that would be considered works 
through the law, in my opinion. All right, another passage to show that baptism is not required for salvation. We see here at the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him. So this is one of the thieves that was uh, crucified next to Jesus Christ saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him saying, Dost, that, dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. So there we see the two thieves crucified on either side of Jesus Christ. One of them rejected Jesus Christ. One of them believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus says to him, you know, Verily I say unto, unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Now then, did they take that thief off the cross and then baptize him in order for him to be saved? No, that thief was never baptized. So that thief, by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, was saved and was never baptized. So we see there um, that baptism is not required for salvation. And this last point is, well, what about every believer before John the Baptist? You know, before John the Baptist was even sent to baptize people with water, there, there, you know, there were believers that existed you know, in the New Testament before John the Baptist, um, you know, before the resurrection. But what about every Old Testament believer that was saved by grace, that found grace in the eyes of the Lord? None of them were baptized with water, and yet they are saved. They will be in heaven. So this idea that you need to be baptized with water in order to be saved is heresy and it is totally false. 